Okay, it's Dr. O'Reilly showing a sample of uh, salt treatment on a, a plaque sample under the microscope. And we've got a couple of amoeba in this sample also that I'm pointing out with the arrows. And what's happening here is the salt starting to come into the area with this little channel that's burrowing through the plaque. This whole area is a plaque. What we're watching though is these two amoebas. What's going to happen to these two uh, amoebas that are going to be affected by the salt coming as it comes through. So here's the main one we're looking at and you could, you'll you start seeing it start to shrink right about now. It's just starting to shrink a little bit. That's because the salt, salt is starting to affect it as it's flowing by it. So here we have the main event and it's shrinking now pretty noticeably. It's going to continue to shrink until it's dead and the salt is penetrated through it. You start to see the, the salt start to come in also around the, uh, you know, the plaque areas around the amoebas, little salt deposits. Look at that amoeba starting to shrink more and more. And um, we just continue to watch this process as it unfolds. A little bit more, you can start to see the salt actually coming into the outside of the amoeba itself. Also this one up top here as well. So this one's basically dead now. You see the salt layer or incrustation around it. Um, this is a pretty dramatic example of what happens with salt and these critters, these amoeba and bacteria underneath your gums that are causing you gum problems, inflammation, bleeding, and loose teeth eventually. So here's a, here it is. The amoeba is totally dead and the salt has been penetrated through it. And it's pretty obvious what's happening in the field also with all these salt deposits. So this is Dr. O'Reilly. Uh, with a great example of salt and what it does in what it can do inside of your mouth. Thank you.